A crash in the lower Yakima Valley killed one man and left an elderly couple recovering from broken bones. Tonight, investigators are still working to determine exactly what happened, but the sheriff's office tells Cap KVU's David Snyder it's a situation they see far too often on this road. Yakima County Sheriff's deputies say a Hyundai Sonata headed west with a 49-year-old man at the wheel drifted across the center line of Yakima Valley Highway Thursday afternoon, hitting a GMC Yukon that was going the other way. Today we don't have any reason to believe he was on a cell phone. Uh, we had one witness for the yesterday say he may have been passing another car. That crash killed the Sonata's driver and injured a 74-year-old couple in the Yukon. Uh, she has a uh, broken right arm. He's got a couple broken, uh, broke both his legs from what I'm hearing. While the lower valley has seen a lot of fatal crashes on the Yakima Valley Highway, deputies say the road isn't the problem. There's plenty of line of sight. Uh, there's no obstruction and it's a good road. It's just for some reason people are drifting out of their lane, uh, travel lane and going in the opposite uh, lanes and hitting people. The sheriff's office established a traffic committee almost a half decade ago to bring traffic fatalities down. Uh, so our primary job is to be out there looking for reckless drivers, speeders, distracted drivers, pe people who are not staying in their lanes. Deputies say they're continuing those efforts, but it won't work without your help. Don't drive distracted. Obey the speed limits, obey the traffic laws. All these laws are out there for a reason, is to keep everybody safe so we don't get hurt. In Yakima County, David Snyder, Cap KVU Local News. David, thank you so much. Compl